Welcome to AP Daily. My name is Tim Gallagher, and I'm an AP Computer Science teacher at Winter Springs High School, located just outside of Orlando, Florida. Today, we're going to be talking about topic 3.5. This is compound Boolean expressions, and this is the second of three videos. And on this video, we're going to focus on logical operators and how we can combine multiple logical expressions to evaluate into a single Boolean value. So what will we learn? So again, we're still evaluating our compound Boolean expressions in our program code. And in this, this video, we're going to talk about our logical operators, not, and, and, or. And they are evaluated in those in that particular order. And we're going to show how these expressions evaluate to a single Boolean value. So let's talk about what our logical operators are. They're also called Boolean operators as well. These are operators that can be used to create larger and more complex Boolean expressions anytime we need to use our Boolean expressions and evaluate them. Uh, these are called compound expressions because we're putting different expressions together. We've got three operators we're going to focus on. The first one is AND, and this is a two ampersands together. And if we have two Boolean variables, in this example A and B, and we put them together using the double ampersand, and this will evaluate to true overall as long as A is true and B is true. And we'll see some examples of that. Or is a little bit different. If I use the double bar that we call it and put together A or B, well, this will all evaluate to true as long as A or B, as long as one of them happens to be true. They can both be true, but as long as one of them is true, the overall expression will be true. And then finally, not. Not is an operator that evaluates to be the opposite value of what A currently is. So if A is false, well then not false is true. If A is true, not true is false. So let's look at an example and make it a little bit more clear. Okay, so let's say I'm going to a birthday party and I'm really picky and I'm only gonna think it's a great party if this party has cake and it has ice cream. So I've got two Boolean variables here, and party has cake, and party has ice cream, and they're both set equal to true. So when I get to this if statement that has an and in it, if party has cake and party has ice cream, it's going to evaluate both of them. And since they're both true, in this case they are, then it's going to go to the print line and print out, this is a great party. However, what if one of them is not true? What if the party has cake? but the party doesn't have any ice cream. Well, again, I'm being real picky, and the only, way, the only way I'm truly going to be happy, if you see what I did just there, it, it would be if party has cake is true and party has ice cream is true, but there's cake, but there's no ice cream, so I'm not staying. It's gonna go to the else and print out I'm not staying. Likewise, if I go and the party doesn't have any cake, party has cake is false, and, well, party has ice cream, but I need them both to be true. And in this case, party doesn't have cake. It's false. So it's going to go down to the print line. I'm not staying. Of course, if they're both false, same thing's going to happen. I'm definitely not staying. So let's say I'm a little, little less picky this time. And now I'm going to say, okay, it'll be a great party as long as the party has cake or ice cream. So now I've got these two Boolean variables, and party has cake and party has ice cream. Party has cake is true or if party has ice cream is true. Well, in this case, one of them is true. Party has cake. So this is going to go down to the print line and print out this is a great party. Likewise, if party has cake is false, that's okay because there's still hope. I now evaluate party has ice cream, which is true, and that's great because for an or, I only need one of them to be true. It's going to go down and print this is a great party. What if they're both true? Is it Doubly good? Well, no, it's, it's, it's fine. I've, as long as one of them is true, in this case they both are, it's still a great party. It's not a double great party, um, and it's, I'm certainly not leaving because they're both true. I only needed one of them, but even though they're both true in this case, that's great. It's still going to print, this is a great party. However, what if there's neither? If party has cake is false and party has ice cream is false, I needed one of them, I got neither, then it's going to go down to the print line, I'm not staying. And that's how the or works. Let's talk about not here for a second. What if party has cake is false, but now I'm just completely uh, easy, to, easy to please in this case. I don't even need the cake. So um, what I say is if not party has cake, 
Well, party has cake is false, and then what do we say not false is going to be? True. So that's true. So it's going to go into this print line statement and say, I don't like cake anyway. However, if the party has cake was already true, then not true would have been false, and then it would have printed out let them eat cake. So that's an example of how we can use those different logical operators. So let's practice. Here is a code segment with a few variables. I've got an integer and two Boolean variables, and then a series of if statements with our logical operators in here. Why don't we hit pause on the video, go through this code segment, segment and see if you can figure out what this prints. Uh, go ahead and hit pause and uh, come on back when you're ready to look at the answer. All set? All right, well, here we, do, here we go. What's this going to print? It's going to print out drive carefully. Why? Well, let's, let's evaluate. So I've got an integer called temp set to 95. I've got an is raining Boolean variable set to true and a traffic jam variable set to false. So the first if statement says if temp is greater than 80, which it is, and not is raining. I mean, is it not raining? Well, let's see. Raining is true. So not is raining is going to be false. So true and false, that doesn't evaluate to true. So I'm not going to print out enjoy the great weather. So I got to go to the else if. Let's check this conditional statement. If is raining, which is true, or traffic jam, which is false. So now here I have a true and I have a false, but it's an or statement. So I only need one of them to be true. And is raining is true, so I'm going to go into this print line and print out drive carefully. And then, of course, I'm going to skip over the else because I've already found one of my ifs that's true. And my program just prints out drive carefully. So that's how our logical operators work in the context of our if statements. So what should we take away from this lesson? Well, we've been evaluating compound Boolean expressions in our code. We've been looking at the nots and the ands and the ors and showing how that an expression involving these logical operators do evaluate to a single Boolean value. And that's it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us at AP Daily, and we'll see you next time. Take care.